Britain filing Dale's early warning station. Three giant antennae, each 100 tons in weight, 84 feet in diameter, so sensitive that an object no larger than a biscuit tin can be detected 3,000 miles away in space. Aided by a computer that can differentiate between the trajectory of an innocent satellite launcher and a hostile rocket, experienced aerospace operators of the RAF keep a constant vigil in case of missile attack. One of many powerful radar stations around Britain's coastline that search the skies, ceaselessly tracing out an ever-changing picture of aircraft movements above and beyond our island home. It is the responsibility of the RAF's aerospace systems operators to read the traces on the screen and present the information on a plotting table so that tracks can be identified as friendly or unknown. The controllers will rely on the accuracy of your work to make the important decision. You have become a vital member of a team that not only searches the skies, but also controls the interceptor aircraft when a track cannot be positively identified. November Lima, Bravo Alpha, 5-0. November Lima, Bravo Alpha, 5-0. Southeast. Negative squawk, speed 350. Pending 311. New chart, pending 311. Yes, table. New chart, pending 311. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Sarah, have a track yes. in November Lima, Bravo Alpha. We find no movement at all. Okay. So you've checked all sources? Right. Make it an unknown. Strike command. Hello, sir. We've got an unknown track in Bravo Alpha heading southwest towards us. He's high and quite fast. Right, sir. We'll use two centers. Control at a position of six kilometers, please. And Corporal, could we have full manning straight away? Full manning. We have to alert. Okay. Everyone to the Mike, I want two phantoms alerted to intercept that track in Alpha Bravo. Straight away. Okay, sir. Wing ops alert two phantoms. Scramble, scramble, scramble. Northwest friendly 307. November Kilo Mike Papa 05. November Kilo Mike Papa 05. Southeast friendly 305. Control here, go ahead Mike. 43 and 44 for unknown 311. Intercept identifier is Fort and Cheddar. Right, we'll do Mike. Target 15 right, 25. Target heading 280, 2000 above. Target 20 right, 15. New track, November Lima, Bravo Alpha, 5-0. November Lima, Bravo Alpha, 5-0. Southwest, negative squawk, speed 350. The new track reference number is 261. Oh, I did 4-3. Your target, 220 miles northeast, 
heading at 230, flight level 270. Thank you very much indeed. Yes, aircraft on across. Gently, one target bird two three zero ring two. Four three Roger, visual contact closing. Uh, Roger, sir. The single bear is present on a starboard turn, passing to two five zero. Yes, sir. Good, okay, tell 4-3 to continue shadowing. Sir, we've identified that unknown as a bear, and I've told them to continue shadowing. Oh, that's grand, Mike. Keep them there as long as fuel permits. Roger, we'll do. Oh, Roger, 4-3, continue to shadow. 4-3, Roger. From an unidentified dot on a radar screen only minutes earlier, to the sleek reality of a Tupolev maritime reconnaissance bomber. Caught, shall we say, slightly off course. Quietly and efficiently, the job has been done, thanks to the combined efforts of the interception and radar teams. Once again, the aerospace systems operators of the Royal Air Force have demonstrated a unique contribution towards Britain's overall defence system. A job that's interesting, varied, and above all, crucial to the defence of our island shores.